The article titled, Global GPS Measurements Indicate Observable Phase of Fault Slip. Two Hours Before Large Earthquakes, on Eureka Alert, discusses a study that provides evidence for the existence of a precursory phase of fault slip occurring two hours before seismic rupture. The study was conducted by Quentin Blatteri and Jean Mathieu Nockett, who analyzed global positioning system. GPS time series data from nearly 100 large earthquakes worldwide. The ability to predict large earthquakes has been a long-standing yet elusive goal. Short-term earthquake prediction the ability to issue a warning from minutes to months before a quake occurs relies on a definitive and observable geophysical precursor signal. Previous retrospective studies of several large earthquakes have suggested that a precursory phase of slow aseismic slip can be observed in faults before a main shock. However, the relationship between these observations and seismic ruptures is poorly understood, as they don't directly precede an event and occur frequently without being followed by an earthquake. As a result, the existence of a clear precursory signal capable of predicting large earthquakes remains uncertain. In this study, Blatteri and Nockett conducted a systematic global search for short-term precursory fault slip before large earthquakes. They used global high-rate GPS time series data from 3,026 geodetic stations worldwide and measured fault displacement up to two hours before 90 different magnitude. 7 and above earthquakes occurred. Statistical analysis of the data revealed a subtle signal, consistent with a period of exponential acceleration of fault slip, near the eventual earthquake's hypocenter beginning roughly two hours before the rupture. According to the authors, the findings suggest that many large earthquakes start with a precursory phase of slip, or that the observations represent the tail end of a much longer and more difficult to measure process of precursory slip. Although the study offers evidence of a precursory signal heralding large earthquakes, Blatteri and Noke note that currently deployed earthquake monitoring instrumentation lacks the coverage and precision required to identify or monitor for precursory slip at the scale of individual earthquakes. Roland Bergman, in a related perspective, writes, Although the results of Blatteri and Nockett suggest that there may indeed be an hours-long precursory phase, it is not clear whether such slow-slip accelerations are distinctly associated with large earthquakes, or whether they could ever be measured for individual events, with the accuracy needed to provide a useful warning. The article was published on 21 July 2023. Please note that the full study may provide more detailed information and context.